I would share with you how I make my doll jewellery. When I say make, I mean compile because I don't actually make it. I buy the jewellery and I use it on my dolls. But I'm going to show you how I use it on my dolls and the sort of things that I buy to make my doll jewellery with. So the thing that I use the most of is Primark earrings. Now, Primark is, is a inexpensive shop in the UK. And you can get cards of earrings like this. There's nine pairs of earrings on here for £1.50. So that's mm, 15 pence a pair. A little over 15 pence a pair. And what I do is I take them from the card, take the pair of earrings I'm going to use from the card. So we'll say these green ones for now. And I get my little jewellery making tool, which is this one here. It has the rounded prongs on it. You don't have to have this. Any pair of plies or anything would do, but this is what I use. And I grab my earring right behind the stud part and I bend the rest of the earring over like this. So that you end up with this. An L-shaped earring. Do the same with the other one. So grip it behind the stud part and bend the rest of the, the earring back over. And then they will just hook into your doll's ears and they won't come out. They might take a, a bit of getting in, but they won't they won't keep falling out. Whereas if you just pop them straight in, they will they will fall out, especially with the Bratz dolls. Their ear holes tends to be a bit bigger. So pop them in. And basically that's that's what I do. That's what I do for those sort of earrings. Now another thing I do is I use these. These are jewellery pins and these are the flat headed kind. So basically what they are is a blunt piece of, of metal with a flat end on it. And on this flat end you can glue things like these tiny beads you could hot glue one of those onto the end and that would make a, like a stud earring also i have some of these little gems here tiny little flat back gems and you can do the same with those just hot glue one onto the end and you'll end up with a stud earring See, just hot glue it on there like that and you'll end up with a stud earring. And the thing to do with these is, rather than just bend them over behind the, the stud part, I make them really wiggly like this. I wiggle them about two or three times, put two or three kinks in them and then wiggle them into the doll's ear and they, they won't come out so easily. So that'll be all wiggled up inside the doll's head like that. And it won't come out so easily. So put whatever you want on the end here with your glue gun. Either a jewel or a flat back or a little tiny bead. That's what I do with that. So that's the earrings. Another way of using those is to thread your beads onto your little wire with the flat bottom. So, for example, I've got a little blue square here. So, thread your bead onto your piece of wire and then just wiggle the rest of the wire like this. Wiggle it about a bit, pop it in your doll's ear and you can have a dangly earring with it. You can put two or three beads on there, you can put just one. Anything with a hole in it will go on there, really. I've also got some beads that are like animal shaped, so they will work as well. So that's another way of doing it. For necklaces, I buy bracelets. I buy um, normal bracelets. And what I do, for example, this string one, I would just 
cut it to the length that I needed it and tie it around the doll's neck and then untie it when I wanted to remove it or snip it off when I wanted to remove it. This card of seven bracelets was two pounds. So 30 pence, less than 30 pence a bracelet. So you've got a nice little pearl one there. That wire on that um chain on there you'd have to perhaps glue it i think you'd have to cut it to the size you wanted and then hot glue it onto the doll being careful not to catch the doll's hair or skin in the in the glue these that have a chain on you cut them to size and then i've got some thin wire and i would thread the thin wire through the chain hole through a hole in the chain and you thread it through this side and through the other side as well and twist it together so let's see here's your chain so you can thread the wire through one of the holes in the chain wrap it around your doll's neck thread it through another hole in the chain and then just twist it together and you'll have a little necklace for your doll see that would be just a plain chain necklace if you don't have wire you could do it with cotton just thin cotton would do, would have the same effect just snip the cotton when you're done with it and you want to change it onto a different doll another thing that I use these for are belts so if I was to make a belt I'd, I'd probably use this to decorate it with or to decorate it use it to decorate part of a dress the same with this little one here. That would make a lovely necklace, actually, wouldn't it? And it's got holes in it to put the wire through. So you could do that one like that. Some of them you can't. Some of them you have to glue because the chain isn't big enough to fit the wire through. But that's what I do with those. And then another thing I have and I love are ear cuffs. So on this one, you get 10 ear cuffs for £2. So that's 20p per ear cuff. And they are perfect for doll bracelets because they are because they're a bit bendy they're not really tough metal you can bend them and open them a few times and you can use them this one's even got a little jewel on it look can you see that yeah so i just pop them off here because they're held on with with a bit of plastic thread there and they fit beautifully around the doll's wrist this one makes like a nice long arm cuff. We've got a black one here. There's a little gold one there, a rose gold one there. Yeah, they're lovely. That's like a platinum or titanium colour, that one. That's lovely. So that's what I do with those. Um, let's see what else I've got in here. I have these. These would make good belts for your doll or good... I mean, it was £1.50 for these five bracelets and you could use them, you could use just the beads on them to make a, a big chunky necklace or you could use them to decorate clothing items with. This would make a nice diamante choker or it would make a, a belt. Yeah, lots of different things you can do with that. And for one fifty, I thought that was brilliant. That's 30p per per bracelet and you'd probably get two necklaces out of that so 15p for a doll necklace I thought was really good um this was one that I got I got this in the sale it was ever so cheap about 50p if it was even that and it's got all these different layers on it and I've just been using the beads from it to make necklaces and bracelets with and to decorate clothing with. There's all different kinds of beads on there. And they will, because it's on wire, you can cut the wire and just use the different sorts of beads. Because they're quite expensive to buy a pot of, of these tiny beads are. So look out for things like that. They do come in handy. Here's one of the ear cuffs off the card so that I'll show you. You just slip the doll's wrist through the gap and then just pinch it closed again. See, pinch it closed so it doesn't come off. And there's her bracelet. They honestly fit the dolls beautifully. And if you want it higher up, if you want her to have a, an arm cuff up here, just don't close it quite as tightly. They are really good for that. I do like that. 
Um, dolls that have a hole in their finger for a ring, I use these earring wires to make the rings with. I glue glue a gem onto the end of here, pop this through the hole, and then I bend it into the doll's hand like that, and then just snip it off so that it doesn't so that it doesn't come off the doll's hand, and so that it you know the little gems on there and so that it, it looks like a looks like a ring for her so that's that i got a card of christmas earrings that i've used as well for some of my dolls six pairs for two pounds and they're really cute little earrings they are tristan's got on some holly ones look tristan's got on a pair of the holly ones and i've done the same as i did with the others i just bent the back and popped it in there so here's a little gem that I've glued onto one of the one of the ends of the jewellery pins. And you can see that would make a perfect diamante stud for your doll. Or it would make a pretty ring if you wanted to pop it through your doll's hand and just bend out, bend the wire over and, and snip it off so that it stays on the hand but that it's not too long that it's getting in the way of things. Yeah, so that was that. That was... Um, they're really easy to do they are so you know it, you don't have to they don't have to be ever so fancy um, here's some of the bead ones that I've made here's some I made earlier so there's a little gold one there on a gold wire and I've put a little um spacer thing on top of it that's one of those um miracle beads i love them miracle beads and then i've got a little red one it too has a little spacer on the end a little silver spacer and then a red bead there and then finally i've got one of these little tibetan silver rose beads and i've just slid that onto the the, these are a round head pin this one is wiggle the wire up pop it in your doll's ear and she'll have a little rose earring also I've got these these are stretchy bracelets that I got from Primark too and they again are, are lovely to decorate um, like holiday clothes with or to make a doll's choker you'd have to cut it and glue it because it's there's nowhere to put any wire or anything. It would make a nice belt, but again, you'd have to cut it and glue it. So lots of ideas there. I hope that's helpful to someone. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.